What's the difference between Ethereum and Solana? They're both popular blockchain networks that support decentralized apps. However, they have some key differences, especially in how they work. Let's start with Ethereum, the pioneer of smart contract platforms. Smart contracts are programs that run automatically without needing any middlemen. Ethereum launched in 2015 after being envisioned by Vitalik Buterin back in 2014. A victim of its own success, it quickly grew so popular that it ran into a major problem, scaling. The network got crowded, leading to slow transactions and high fees. This opened the door for new projects to try different solutions, one of which was Solana. When Anatoly Yakovenko introduced Solana in 2017, the goal was simple, deliver super fast transactions with low fees. By the time Solana's main net went live in 2020, it had some fresh innovations that set it apart. But it still has a few things in common with Ethereum. For example, both Ethereum and Solana are so-called layer one blockchains that run independently and support smart contracts and decentralized apps. They also each have their own native network coin, ETH for Ethereum and SOL for Solana. These coins are used for transaction fees and securing the network through a process called staking. A major difference between Solana and Ethereum is their consensus mechanisms. That is, the systems they use to agree on the validity of transactions. Ethereum relies on proof of stake, where parties with more ETH locked up on the network are more likely to be chosen to validate transactions. Solana, on the other hand, combines proof of stake with something called proof of history. Think of it like a secure clock that creates a historical record of events that makes it easier for transactions to be processed quickly. Solana's architecture enables it to process transactions much faster, handling up to 65,000 transactions per second by using parallel processing, which allows multiple transactions to be verified at the same time. Because of this, users on Solana generally pay minimal fees for transactions. In contrast, Ethereum processes only 13 to 15 transactions per second, as it relies on a more sequential approach. And transaction costs can rise significantly when the network is busy. To address this, Ethereum has Layer 2 solutions, like Optimism and Arbitrum, which are separate blockchains built on top of Ethereum that process transactions more quickly and at lower costs before settling them on Ethereum's main chain. Ethereum is often seen as more decentralized, and therefore more secure, with over 1 million validators, the people who verify transactions, compared to Solana's 1,400. It's worth noting, however, that decentralization can be measured in many ways, and it remains a complex and debated topic. Both blockchains are also constantly evolving and can decentralize over time. Both Solana and Ethereum have vibrant ecosystems filled with decentralized applications, projects, and active communities. Being the first mover, Ethereum has amassed a much larger amount of value locked on its network, aka Total Value Locked, or TVL. However, Solana is no slouch when it comes to other metrics like revenue, active users, or network activity, which often rivals or even sometimes surpasses Ethereum's. Finally, we can expect plenty of upgrades on both networks, as each aims to become the go-to layer one chain. To learn more about what it means for a project to be decentralized, check out our previous video on that right here.